folks. Um, not really sure what the date is. Uh, I ain't bother checking uh, before I come on. Um, what's been going on? Um, been working a lot. Um, yeah, just working a lot re really. Um, paying the mortgage, etc. Like most people have to do. Um, what's been going on in the world? Europe, Cyprus. Uh, been going a uh, eight point something odd billion um, bailout. Um, so. Stavros Fratley uh, and his little lad will be happy with that. Uh, but what they, what's happened is they've, they've said they're going to something like ten percent of the savings um, that the people who go in the banks in Cyprus are going to be uh, taxed. Um, so a lot of people now are having bank runs. Um, but the, the it comes into effect on tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, so but today's a bank holiday over there. Oh, I've been told it's a bank holiday over there. I'm not really sure. So uh, a lot of the uh, the banks have been able to get you know people have been able to get money out of the banks because the banks have been closed, so they've been using the ATM machines, um, which obviously have run out of money as well. So there's uh, quite a few uh, protests going on at the minute about it. people aren't happy. I know if I had uh, if I've been saving, working all my life, saving all my life, and all of a sudden just because the banks have screwed up, uh, I've got to pay for it. Um, I, I wouldn't be happy at all. And I don't think you would be neither out there in uh, YouTube land. Uh, what else we got? Syria, uh, France, and uh, the UK are trying to uh, overturn some type of arms embargo, or they want the arms embargo lifted so they can give uh, arms to the uh, Syrian um, rebels, um, freedom fighters, you know, whichever side of the fence you're on, whichever one you want to call them. Um, I, I don't believe it's our problem. I think it's uh, an Arab problem, uh, and it uh, should be sorted out by the uh, the, the, uh, the Arab states themselves, not us and France getting involved. A uh, prime example of that, I, I believe, is uh, is Libya. We were spending thirty, so thirty eight million pound a week um, to basically bomb the shit out of it, uh, and so far as I can work out, we haven't been given any of the oil contracts. I think that could have something to do with the bloke who's one of the blokes in charge over there now. Uh, we sent him back to be tortured to Gaddafi uh, to torture, so you can tell he's uh, he's not happy with us. We're not on his Christmas card list. But being a Muslim, he won't have a Christmas card list. Uh, what else has happened? The Land Rover's off the road. Um, basically, the the uh, the tax was due on it, uh, and I thought, well. I can't be bothered to tax it. It's got MOT um, for the people in America. That's like a safety test that we have to have every year on cars that are over three years old. Uh, but this it's got a test till uh, December uh, this year. Uh, but the tax ran out. And I thought I can't be bothered to tax it. Um, I've just got myself uh, another car, uh, a Mercedes Estate, which I thought I'd give a normal car a try. I know it's a Mercedes Estate, so it's not really a normal car. It's quite a big car, um, but it's. It'll do for now, uh, until I, so the land is over on the farm now, all, all packed up, uh, not going anywhere uh, for the winter. Um, yeah, just talking about the winter, it, it's, we've got this going on. I packed my Land Rover away, thinking uh, everything was going to be tickety-boo, uh, and this is what's happened. Got snow everywhere, and there's the, uh, there's the Mercedes. Um, but I weren't expecting the snow, you see. That comes a bit, a bit of a shock to me. Um, I have been out um, doing my usual purchasings. Um, shopping as our last calls them. Um, and we'll, we'll go through some of that in, in a minute. So I've got some stuff off uh, eBay lately. Uh, and connections through eBay. Um, and some of the, uh, the UK prepper sites. Uh, UK... Um, Survival UK or something like that. Uh, there's been some uh, quite good, um, you know, links and stuff like that. So uh, what we'll do is have a quick look around what I've got lately. Uh, usual, usual trip to Tesco's, uh, and I've got um, ten packs of five twin blade disposable razors. So yeah, twin blade disposable razors. So yeah, five in a pack. I don't think that they're going to be anything that uh, Davy Beckham's going to advertise. Um, but they were 13p a pack. 13p for five razors, twin bladed razors. Like I said, they're not going to be any uh, 
Gillette sensor or anything like that, uh, but they'll do. Uh, and they'll go into the uh, the prep kit. Uh, bars of soap. We've got two little bars of soap in there. Um, I said I don't think there's going to be any uh, imperial leather or anything like that. Um, but that was 11p, uh, and I ended up getting nine bars. The only reason I got nine bars is because that's all they had. That's all they had left on the shelf. Uh, but for 11p, I'll, I'll get back and get some more of them. Same with the uh, the little toothbrushes, um, two in a pack, and I got five packs. Same again. It's just that they didn't have anything else. They just uh, that's all they had on the shelf at the time, so I got them, uh, and they were 18p. Um, toothpaste, 25p. Got four of them again. Nothing else on the shelf, so I just got the last four they had. Um, and you, you can't go wrong with prices like this. Just to put into uh, into your stores or to get as uh, as as like little bath items or giveaways. Tea bags, 80 tea bags, 27p. I don't even know what that's going to be in dollars. Um, 27p. Um, you can't beat that. It's not going to be the Darjeeling or Earl Grey by any means, but it's a wet. It'll get you a, a brew going. Same as with the coffee that I got last time. That I've put in the uh, in the Mylar bags, and uh, Tesco's again, one kg of rice, forty p. Same again, two or three of them, because uh, that's all they had on the on the uh, the shelves. Uh, a lot of these, you know, basic items are going, uh, and they're going fairly quickly. Um, I, I don't know why that is. It's uh, the you know, it's, I know people are trying to save money. Um, but at this moment in time, I won't be using this this stuff, um, basically because our, our lass will uh, kick me ass if I uh, try to palm her off with this type of soap or toothpaste. But somebody's using it out there, uh, as long as it works, it works. I've also got for the uh, the first time um, some uh, multivitamins, 90 tablets there, and the same with the uh, vitamin C uh, tablets. What I also got from Tesco's um, was the pack of onion seeds, pack of cauliflower seeds, and uh, runner beans. Uh, these will go in my uh, seed stores. And I do, I do, do suggest you, um, in fact, that these one, these ones will start be used and they'll be uh, planted this week or next week. Uh, but keep a seed store of um, little bits and pieces that you use or you like, you know, it's, uh, and then you can. Uh, plant them uh, when the time comes. Uh, try and get um, heirloom seeds, uh, preferably stuff not from uh, Monsanto. Uh, these aren't, these are just, just devil seeds as I call them. Um, but yeah, there's some uh, there's some good seed uh, companies out there who do heirloom seeds, which I have got, and I keep them in a, an old Quality Street uh, plastic container. Um, I just keep throwing them in there every time I get them. Uh, every so often take some out and plant them. They're all right, they come up to come up well. Uh, but this year, uh, we say last year, we, we didn't have really a good year uh, and I don't know anybody who uh, grows their own that did have a, a good year. Um, what else have I been purchasing? I had the uh, British Birkfield uh, filters. I've uh, got three of them. These are expensive. There's from a company called Avon, um, which is down south somewhere. I can't remember if it's Dorset or something, Paul Dorset or something. Uh, I think anyway, I'm not 100%, uh, so don't be quoting me on that. But it's fairly expensive, um, but still cheaper uh, than what I was getting uh, offered online, uh, just to go straight to this Avon company. Um, and I know a lot of people have been, been saying about uh, about the filters, um, that they weren't coming with the, uh, the washer itself and the, um, the washer. So the the nut itself and the washer, and these are also the uh, the long bar ones. Uh, if I can find, if I can remember the um, name of the company, I'll I'll put it up and get get their address back. Uh, but yeah, I asked the bloke, and he's, he's, you know it says ten something like ten thousand liters for for one of these. Uh, it looks like somebody should put a battery in it actually. Um, but yeah, it's uh, ten thousand liters for one of these. Um, and I said, well, is that it once it's gone? He said, oh, no, all you do is just scrub it up with a, um, uh, a scotch Bright pad, you know, like these, these little green pads. Uh, he said, uh, and then give it a clean up, and then we'll do you for another uh, 10,000 litres. So I was quite happy with that. Uh, another thing I got from, from eBay was this. Um, 
T U A F U H F radio, and it cost me the grand total of four pound ninety five, and I think it was one pound fifty uh one pound fifty for uh, postage and packaging. Uh, the reason I got it, I've already got one. Uh, this one cost me twenty pounds. The only difference is this one hasn't got the uh, sorry this one here hasn't got the two buttons on it. Uh, some of the buttons, the uh, the dials, but they still work. Them them as they are. Um, so yeah, works works great. I had a spare. The batteries, you know, the chargers and everything work the same. Uh, exactly the same radio, um, but they're on UHF um, and the the H. Sorry, these I think it's called 70 centimeter band, uh, which I'll be looking into this year with me um, when I'm going for me me ham license. Uh, so yeah, that's a, another good addition. Very cheap. Um, like I said it. You know, there's no problem switching it on or anything like that. It you know, comes up. I don't know if you can see that. Well, that's coming up. But yeah, it gives you a frequency. Uh, frequency, you know, you can adjust the frequency as as and when up and down the uh, the, the frequency band. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm I'm happy with that as a, a good deal that I got. Um, same with the Burke is uh, expensive, but a lot cheaper than than what I was getting offered online um, and stuff like that. The only thing that you know, the the you go back to the 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 mylar bags, they were expensive. I've used all of them now. I've had a, another order of ten. So that's 20 mile hour bags I've got now, which are full of like you know rice, coffee, um, beans, um, soup broth mixes and stuff like that. But it's out the way. It's done. It's dusted. It's out the way. Um, and there's you know there's no further dramas with it. Uh, and that that's basically what I needed. So um, yeah, so that that's it really. I will be doing more updates now because uh, we're a bit more settled with work. And that's it. I've just got to uh, finish the fire off. So I've got some some more of the wood from the the uh, the pond lakey thing that we go to. Uh, and that's it. So be safe. If you can't be safe, learn to run quick. Um, and hopefully the uh, the bad guys won't get you or the zombies. I don't really know about the zombies. Anyway, look after yourselves. Ta-da.